Hello! So today we're going to look at how to create capitalized headings within your document along with uppercase lowercase entries in your table of contents. So let's talk about what we're trying to do here. This is a Word document. This is the table of contents and you can see we have first section, uppercase, lowercase, second, second, third section, and so on. And those match the entries that we've got here in the actual document. First section, second section, third section. And this is how most of the time you have documents or books with everything matching with the uppercase and lowercase. But there could be a situation where you want your in-document material to all be uppercase so it really stands out and has like lots of uh, big bold uppercase letters. But you still want the table of contents to be uppercase and lowercase because it's really hard to read a list of things if they're all shouting in uppercase. It's better to have this section here when you're trying to navigate be uppercase and lowercase letters. So here is how you do that. The format for this section here is defined with a heading one. That's how you get it into the table of contents. So in order to get text here into the table of contents, you tag it with your heading one style, whatever that is. And here we can make another one just to show you. So we're gonna make a fourth section text. La, 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 la. And the way that you would add that to your table of contents is that you would select it, you would tag it as a heading one style. It would get the heading one look and feel just like everything else in there. And you can see over here in our navigation pane on the left, it shows up in our list of table contents items. And if we go back up here to our table of contents, we're just going to need to right click and update the field and say update the whole table. And now we've got our fourth section in here too. So. You can see that it shows up along with all the rest of them because we gave it the heading one tag, which is up there. So let's go down here and let's say again that we want this to be all uppercase in this or you know any other kind of thing, bigger or smaller or something else like that. What we're going to do is the way that I tend to do it just because it's easier for me is select it to say that I've got this selection and then I'm going to right click on that heading one area and say I want to modify these. So it says right now that the heading one area is Times New Roman 20 point and it's a bluish color and so on. And you know you could do all sorts of things with formatting and centering and all that other kind of stuff. But what I'm going to do is look down here and I happen to have a font called Felix Titling. And this Felix Titling is naturally all uppercase letters. So once I click on OK, all of these now have the Felix Titling look and that means that even though I type them with uppercase and lowercase letters it makes them all look uppercase so first section second section third section fourth section so now they all look uppercase and then if we go back here into the contents here I'll regenerate just to show so I'm right clicking and saying update field update entire table this stays the same because this style sheet is completely separate from the style sheet for the heading entries. So this is actually a table of contents style sheet that controls how the table of contents entries look and that is separate from how these table of contents pieces show up when they are the headings for their different sections. So these letters are actually lowercase letters, the E-C-T-I-O-N, but they display with our font choice as uppercase in this area and they show natively with their uppercase and lowercase in the actual table of contents area. So there's a whole bunch of font choices out there. You know, you don't have to choose this one if you don't like the look of this. There's a bunch of other different ways that you can have the fonts look that has them be uppercase letters, but has the letters be thicker or thinner or serif or sans serif or all that other kind of stuff. So let me know if you have any questions.